see your favorite news network, the Dusty News Network. You know, where nigga news comes first, and I'm so excited to be here as your host today. First story, Dale Curry gets exposed by IG model for getting her phone number at the Knicks name. That was quite thirsty, but man, he still pulls it off. A chick, stop the show, she is white, meets a prisoner on writerprisoner.com, flows 4,000 miles just to hook up with him, and church music, my man Boosie Badass is now a ordained minister, and he wants to charge your ass $75,000 to officiate your wedding. But stay tuned, we're gonna get right into it right now, so let's get into the video. My boy Steph Curry broke the NBA three-point record, you know, when they played the Knicks the other night and stopped the show. I taught him everything, you know, you know me. I played in the NBA too, the Neighborhood Basketball Association. Stop the cap. But check this out. You know my man, Dale Curry, been going through it, you know. Sonya Curry left him for his, you know, white friend, Steven Johnson, who played tight end for the, you know, the New England Patriots. And Booty Climbing Sims! Yeah, she was giving white daddy all of that. And they supposed to be partners, right? So my man, Dale, has been single ever since, you know, that kind of happened. Now, they said my man, Dale, was cheating too. But we know it's the manosphere. We gonna act like we ain't heard none of that cause we gonna think he innocent. We don't really know. But anyways, my man Dale came and he was sitting by himself, but he was right next to Anna Cherry, right? Now, stop the show. She's actually a former Miss Playboy model. I think like Miss Playboy 2015. No, she ain't looking too bad. I mean, if I was really into the swirling thing, I might holler myself. But you already know me, I'm a player. All the ladies want me. Um, PlanetOshay at gmail.com, ladies, if you want to know what I'm working with. But he pulled up on her, and you know, romantic music! He was in her ear, you know, old school player, you know, telling her what she wanted to hear. She was giggling, you know? You know how it is, kind of like how I am with your mama, you know, whenever she with me. But, um, you know, then my man Dale, you know, he ended up getting the number, right? And that's how I know because she talked about it and she asked, well, you know, did he get your number? And she was like, no comment. And I want to just let, let you know. So we already know that Dale going to boot the ourselves. We already know he's going to hit that. You know what I'm saying? Because he's an OG. And like most of us, that's older guys now because I'm in the older club. You know, me and you dudes don't really know what's out there even after you get out of your marriage. You know, Dale damn near 100 years old but he keep his stuff together. You know, he, you know, doing his little, you know, bicep curls and stuff like that, you know, shooting the ball. And um, yeah, he can still step and holler, you know? He still got mouthpiece. Like E-40 said, I don't need no iron, I'm already creased. I don't need no money, I got mouthpiece, right? And so she was, she, you know, he was spitting that in her ear, she couldn't resist, you know what I'm saying? So for some of you guys going through relationships, you know, your girls, you're worried about where she going, don't even worry about that. Keep putting yourself out there. You're going to meet somebody else. Long as you, you know what I'm saying, keep hollering. You know what I mean? And, 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 and for Sonya, I know that you mad, right? Because she she looked better than you right now. Um, yeah, so he about, to, he about to go through that. Don't worry about that. Next video! So we're going to fly all the way to prison. That's right. That's where this story is going, man. I know. This is crazy because I don't know what it is with women and criminals and prisoners. And this time, I'm dealing with this lady right here. I don't know what her name is. Um, she is Caucasian, as you can see, right? And there's a web website called writerprisoner.com. Um, you can actually go there and meet prisoners, you know, guys that are in jail and you can you know correspond and this is typical ladies do this all the time and they'll have good jobs and good things going and when a guy get out of jail they'll be there and pick him up and they'll be sending money put money in his books but what's interesting is a lot of these ladies are not like unattractive right you know these ladies have good dating options they can date guys in their city but for whatever reason this is what they're choosing and this is what she did right now the brother that you see in the picture he ain't getting out till 2024 but you know she been going down there to the prison flying 4,000 miles booty clapping sounds 
you know. Um, I'm pretty sure the brother be tearing that thing out in the conjugal visits and all of that. But that's who she gonna deal with. And guys wanna know why is this the case? That women just, they've always liked pookies and ray rays. And it's just not black women that do this. It's women of all races, all right? And I know guys have always criticized it, but here's what I gotta say. Let it be, okay? If that's what she wants to do, it is completely fine with me. Just if the, if the dudes start going up beside your head and start messing up your credit and start, don't come crying to me about you can't believe what he's doing to you. You thought he was different. I mean, he's just doing what he always been doing and I know you think you can change him, which is what a lot of ladies think. They feel like, oh yeah, he's going down the wrong path. And you know a guy, he in prison, he gonna tell a girl anything she want to hear. Them dudes got the most game, right? Cause they gotta survive. So they tell a woman, you know, I'm gonna do this for you when I get out, I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna really protect you. You gotta be putting it on thick. And then when they get out, they might do that for a few months, but they're gonna always revert back usually to who they are. And these ladies feel like they're special. They feel like they're gonna be able to put something on them that he ain't never had before. And the reality is you're not gonna be able to put nothing on him that you ain't never had before. Just don't come back and tell me what, what then went wrong. Stick with that decision, right? Go over there, just don't move nowhere near me, and I'm cool with it. I don't wanna be over there with gunshots. I don't wanna be over there. I'm too old for the foolishness, y'all Y'all know how I get. I'm, I'm, I'm real petty, so I don't wanna have to call the police and drop a dime on his ass. So, cause I'll violate his probation, you know me, I ain't shit. So just take your ass on over there, leave me alone, and keep dealing with pookies and red rays, okay? That's all I'm saying. Just whatever kids y'all have over there, just don't bring them around me. I don't want you coming over here, and I'm good with it. But what do you guys think? Thanks, video! We gonna fly all the way to Atlanta, Georgia, where my man Boosie Badass is living right now. And my boy Boosie, I don't know if he's doing good or bad, but I know he's been going through some situations with Instagram, and they have shut some of his pages down. Now he was making a lot of money, I think sometimes $10,000 in a day, oh 5,000 a day, but Instagram was like, eh-eh, you're doing too much. So, you know, my man Boosie, he was complaining, talking about he didn't have the cash flow to help you know, support his family during COVID. But now my man Boosie, badass, has found a new hustle. Give me some church music in the background because my man Boosie, badass, he is now an ordained minister of the Lord. Now, Boosie Badass can't really read and write, so I don't know how he gonna officiate a wedding. I mean, because his IQ gotta be lower than the basement on his knees. I mean, a midget on his knees in the basement. That's how low it has to be. If you've ever heard Boosie talk, you're gonna lose a lot of brain cells. He my boy though, my play cousin. I love him, but he ain't that bright. But this is what he's trying to do. He's trying to use his hood fame to, you know, he can minister your wedding for anywhere between $75,000 to $100,000, right? If you want him to come officiate it, this is what he'll do. Stop the show. This shows me, man, that Boosie, either this is a joke or your ass is going broke, or maybe a little bit of both. Because who would bring your dusty ass into the wedding, dog? I'm just gonna be real. You're my cousin, man. I love you like a play cousin. But you, I mean, what's gonna be there? People twerking in the background, gunshot wounds and stuff. I mean, blunts. You know, just all kind of barbecue sauce dripping everywhere. That's what it's gonna be. A lot of just churches, chicken wrappers, all type of shit, right? Like nobody wants to bring you to no goddamn wedding. What's wrong with you? And it just goes to show you that a lot of people in the black community been doing this for years, you know, going to these little shady paper mill degrees, you know. All of a sudden you get your doctorate in, um, in, in ministry uh, in three months. This dude ain't never even went to kindergarten and all of a sudden he got a PhD in theology. He can't even spell theology, but he a reverend of the Lord. And this is typically what happens all the time, right? They get these little uh, chicken shack churches and stuff, you know, reverend doctor, boosy badass, you know, gold teeth, nine millimeters all in the choir stand and all that. But boosy brother, we don't believe you. We know that you ain't about shit, okay? We're not gonna let you rock with that. We wanted to get your ass up out of here. Guys, it's a lot of folks that we can see that's dusty on this episode. You know what I mean? We got my man, Dale Curry, how the IG model. And then you got this white lady, you know, she's out there flying to see these dudes in prison. And you got Boosie Badass 
um, who's charging people $75,000 to hundred grand to officiate a wedding. You know what, let's, let's see who's gonna get the Dusty Award. Germany Music! Drum roll, please! The white chick marrying the prisoner. What the hell is wrong with you, girl? How you gonna do that? You're not even that bad looking. You can get any, well, you stop the show, you can't get me, cause I make too much money for you. But you can get somebody else. You know what I'm saying? That can deal with your uh, ridiculous ass. How you gonna write a prisoner.com and then wait for the dude to get out in 2024? So that's 2021 right now, 2022, 2023. You're gonna be getting hit by somebody, doggy, booty clapping sounds, we all know how y'all get down. So, and to do that and just, you know, jeopardize your, your, your youth, that's just dusty and it's crusty and it's musty. And this is why I don't live by y'all. So you know what, Crazy? Throw the dust on her. It's over for you. So guys, that's my time. I gotta get up out of here, man. I'm real tired. I'm trying to get this YouTube money so I can buy me some gold teeth. But guys, check out all my information pinned to the top. Um, you know, all my information's down there. We'll holler at you, Patreon, email. And as you know, the before remains at all time high, I'm out. <laughs>